Hey guys, Ray Lama here. So in today's video, we're going to set up notifications through HiveOS onto your phone. Now, I was planning originally to do this with Discord. However, the Discord bot has been disabled at this time and it's been out for a few weeks now. So we are going to be doing this all on Telegram now. So let's start off right off the bat. Let's click on your user account, scroll down and you can see here Telegram. There is a hyperlink here. You can click on it and it'll open up the desktop version of Telegram. So you can open it. There is nothing. Oh, here it is. We have a uh, Hivebot opened so we can start messaging it. And there we go. We click start and it gives us our identification code. We could do this two ways. We can either do it within the user or we can create a new group. So click here, new group. We can call this Hive OS. We can add in the bot and create. Okay, now we're here. So we have to type in the command and we'll get this code, which is a negative value. Now you could do it with it this way with this code and this will work fine, but I want this in the channel so I can change this icon just so when I get notifications, a little bit easier to see which one is what. I'm gonna take this code, copy it, bring it over to Hive OS and put this code subscribe put in my 2fa verification code this code is always changing so and there we go now this takes a few minutes you have to be patient with this because if i hit refresh it's it's not going to show anything yet okay so let's go back and we can type in following code that it's asking for dash user red llama and most likely i'm going to get an error because it it still hasn't synced up yet okay so you're going to see this error here and please be patient because it is still all right so there there we go we did actually get a notification saying that the channel has been subscribed and um it just took some time for it to come through but it did come through so after this what you can do is you will have to go back to your farm click on farm click on settings under settings scroll down to notifications and here are all your telegram inf uh notifications that you would get detect when workers off is a critical one worker booted warning messages success messages so some of these you could probably turn off i'm probably going to turn off the success message because i don't want to be notified every single time that happens and i definitely want to be detected i want it to notify me when a worker's offline don't really care if it's online turn that off when gpus are going in the red that's something I'm going to keep on. And when missing GPUs or boards are notified, I'm going to turn this one on. And that's it. I'm going to just update this Telegram subscription. It's been updated. So let's give this a test uh, to see if it will notify us if a break goes down. Oh, now I got something. Let's see. It took, a, you know, what? Six minutes? Seven minutes? And Valley says, okay, yeah, your, your two rigs are back online now. Thank you for being a little late, but yeah, thank you. Well, there we go. At least it, it's working. It's a little bit delayed by seven minutes, but that's fine. It's better than having it down for 14 hours and then realizing it's down. All right, guys. So, so that's the end of this video. I hope it helps. Hopefully in the future, we can get the Discord notifications up and running. But I believe the Hopliest Miner already has a video on that. So please go check out his video on how to set up discord notifications once it's back up and running again all right guys so that's then thanks guys for stopping by please leave a like button if you enjoyed this and subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you guys in the next one booted what that booted what the hell i guess it's uh delayed